Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying Met Gala coverage on Vogue.com. We are back live on the red carpet and we are going to be speaking with so many great people coming up right now. Coming up will be Cole Sprouse, who's wearing Tom Brown, and Lily Reinhardt, who's wearing, we're back live, yeah, and Lily Reinhardt, who's wearing custom H&M. So we would love to get these two first Met Gala guests' um, experiences on the red carpet. As you can see, there's just a little bit of movement on this carpet right now. I, we're live. Yeah. So everyone, we, hey, how are you? I feel like I need to button up. I mean, you look great. We're just over there. Hello. So, Hi. talk to us. First Met Gala, what are you most excited about for tonight? Uh, running around the museum without anyone telling me not to. That's going to be fantastic. Finally getting some privacy in the mat is going to be great. Nice. Yeah. Um, you're wearing Tom Brown tonight. Yes. What is it that you like so much about his clothing? Uh, for me, it... Well, actually, the first time... Uh... Can you just move a little bit closer? Oh, yes, Sorry. Well, the first time that, that I had walked in there, I had, I had pitched to let me carry a sword or, or to let me have the shorts, but we decided to go with a little bit more elegant of a classic look tonight. I'm, I'm trying to look as priestly as possible. And the, the, the priestly persona was something that I was, immediately drew me to the costume of tonight. Nice. Yeah. Is that something that speaks to you normally in your wardrobe? Not necessarily, but, you know, some of us are, we're all coming from different entertainment backgrounds here, and the, the actor side of me was kind of desperate to, to have a little role play tonight. Nice. Um, well, thank you so much for speaking with me. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then coming up next is Lily Reinhardt. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? This is Simply Majestic. Oh, over there. thank you. Are we all good? Perfect. You are wearing custom H&M, I believe. I am. Oh, my goodness. I, I am, too. You are? I am. Well, you we're just partners in crime, aren't we? Exactly. Um, so I was just talking with uh, Cole a second ago. What are you most looking forward to about tonight? I mean, I've never been to the Met, so I'm really just looking forward to taking it all in, I guess. Like, I... You know, I, uh, I'm just I'm 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 baffled that I'm here. I'm just trying to take it all in and kind of absorb every minute of it. And so far, so good. So nice. Uh, talk to me about your look, though. I mean, it's got you've got a bustier with chainmail and everything on it. How do you feel? Like, is this I kind of like, what you all envision? Yeah, it totally is. I feel like a princess, which is great. Um, we wanted a really kind of ethereal look and this to me is it's chrome silk and it was my idea to kind of do a chain corset because I wanted I don't know the structure of the corset to balance out the flow so it came together wonderfully amazing well thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me I cannot wait to see you inside thank you. See, you in there. see you in there so everyone ooh, as you can see the Met Gala red carpet is continuing to just Go and go. Walking past was the Honorable Mitt Romney and his wife Anne. And then coming up, oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is an incredible headpiece. Is that Rita? It's Rita Ora looking absolutely amazing in this giant headpiece. Yes, of course, for sure. I think she's wearing Versace tonight. I think she is, and she looks absolutely incredible. So guys, uh, Versace is tonight's main fashion sponsor, and um, one of the pieces in the exhibition is this Atelier Versace piece from the fall 1997 collection. It's bronze with a giant oversized cross on it, and it really exemplifies the theme so beautifully because it's marrying religious iconography with that of fashion, and that's really what tonight is celebrating via the red carpet. Um, what you're seeing is that confluence between high fashion and high religion, and it's, it's cool um, to see modern reworkings of it. It's very exciting. There's so many more people still to come. We're still very early on the carpet, and you don't know who's going to just surprise pop up, which is always incredible. Um, I'm very excited for this insanely beautiful and long train that, I mean, Rita's... Rita is coming. <laughs> Rita's wearing Prada, so uh, take back what I said like two seconds ago. 
the one and only Rita Ora. I'm so happy I'm seeing you right now. I it's mean... not even funny. Thank you, by the way. The team with the, with the that's here, like looking after the trains, are amazing. Right? Yeah. Shout out to the Vogue crew that's on the red carpet because they are killing it. It's all about good train situations. Okay, so talk to me. You are a Met Gala veteran. What are oh, you most you. looking forward to for tonight? I'm actually really proud of coming kind of early. Yes. Aren't you? I'm I, always I'm here thrilled. like last minute and it's just crazy. So I wanted to kind of get it all out of the way first. So I love the Met Gala. Awesome, as you should. Okay, talk to me about this look. You are in Prada. Yeah. How did it all come together? I've been uh, working with Prada now for a few months. I've been such a fan of everything that Mrs. Prada has done all over the years. And um, I know she's coming tonight and I'm extremely happy to kind of be involved in, you know, the whole Prada team that's coming. And it's just going to be a fun night because everything is always so un understated but very meaningful. So I love wearing Prada. Speaking of understated but meaningful, you are wearing such a majestic crown right now. Thanks. Who created this? Oh, my hairdresser. He made it in three days. You Can you believe it? That's insane. Yeah, he just made it himself. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's not like by the Prada team or... I kind of sprung this on them last minute. <laughs> they were like, oh, that was a surprise. So, yeah. Amazing. All right. Favorite memory from the Met Gala in the past? My first one. Nice. Do you know why? Because I was so nervous. My legs were shaking. And I really am always nervous about this carpet, genuinely. It's just so intense, but it's incredible. You feel like... I don't know, you feel like a princess. God bless whoever I marry, because my wedding has to be as good as this. Nice, I like the comparison. And then, um, outside of yourself, who are you most looking forward to seeing on the red carpet? Do you know what? I love Donatella. I can't wait to see everyone, I think. I think everyone's here, so it's kind of like Madonna, of course. I just can't wait to just see everyone's clothes. Amazing. Uh, Am Rita, I going to see you inside? You are going to see me Yay, inside. Yay, can we sit together? I will gladly, like, hop over and yes. chill. Okay, yes, okay, I'm going to find you. I know there's loads of tables, but... Oh my god. Rita Ora. Also, I forgot my ticket. Do you think they'll let me in? Um, <laughs> in tr full honesty, I forgot mine too. Um, so okay. we're in the same boat. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you, Rita Ora. Yeah, pleasure. You look amazing. Oh, sure. thank you. I'll see you inside. I'll see you inside. Bye. So, guys, that was Rita Ora wearing custom Prada. And as you can see, it's all about a train tonight. We had Amal Clooney start the night off with that beautiful Richard Quinn piece. It was this incredible uh, floral train over cigarette trousers. You can read all about it on Vogue.com later tonight. Um, one of the evening's main milliners of the evening, Stephen Jones, is just walking by. He creates all of the iconic headpieces that you see on the red carpet for everyone uh, who's gracing these steps. Also walking up the steps right now, I believe, is Donatella Versace. We still have Olivia Munn, who is also wearing gold chain uh, chainmail H&M, I believe. And I think there's going to be a lot more of the Versace crew coming up the stairs. But uh, again, keep keep uh, talking to us. Tell us who you want to see, what you are most looking forward to, and we are going to try to nab all of who you want to hear from throughout the night. Continue to stay tuned, continue to go to Vogue.com, and we'll check back in in a little bit. Thanks.